Today is Friday, January 29th, 2021, and I think it's finally time for me to start thinking about racing. Ten point two six miles, eight minutes, forty seconds per mile, one hundred and forty beats per minute today. A chilly run out there today, but a beautiful sunrise. Got into a very nice rhythm for an easy run out there on the Chicago Lakefront Path. Today, what I want to talk about is some racing. A couple of days ago, I signed up for the Chicago Marathon for a guaranteed entry, and I did uh, get that application accepted. So I will be running the Chicago Marathon on October 10th. And so 10, 10, 21. It's the first race I've had on my books for a very long time. I'm still not really sure that uh, it's going to go. You know, who knows what's going to happen uh, in the future. It's still very much in my mind up in the air, but it's on the books for me. It's on the calendar, October 10th. October is going to be a super, I mean, this entire fall, assuming every all these races actually get to happen, it's going to be an absolutely crazy time. The Chicago Marathon is the day before the Boston Marathon. They're running on the same weekend this year, just absolutely incredible. It's just insane. The week before the Chicago Marathon is going to be the London Marathon. The week before that is going to be the Berlin Marathon. The weekend after the Chicago slash Boston Marathon weekend is going to be the Tokyo Marathon, which means that five world major marathons are going to happen in four consecutive weekends. And you get a little bit of a break and then November 7th, you get the New York Marathon. So it's going to be an absolutely insane fall if all of this happens. I think we kind of said that last year too. So I, I, that's kind of like I'm leaving the schedule as being pretty uh, ambitious and hopefully we get to have that buffet of world major marathons. That's going to be incredible. But with that October race kind of now on my calendar, it has me thinking, all right, what do I want to do to get ready for that? Now, part of that is for me, what do I feel like I'm going to need to be able to go race again? Uh, I know that there are races that have been going on, that there are races that are continuing to go on now under a variety of circumstances and kind of preventative and safety measures. But for me and my family, what that's going to mean is I don't want to have a vaccine before I get into an actual real live race with other people again. For Chicago, where my where i fit in is going to be in phase two of the vaccination plan that right now as of like earlier this month was tentatively scheduled to be somewhere between june to december of this year so uh even at the earliest end that kind of means that i'm looking at june as, as a best case scenario hopefully that accelerates and goes faster but like even on an optimistic side i'd say like june is probably the first so i'm starting to look at some kind of june marathons to train for that might either be virtual, hopefully in person, but virtual or in person. Uh, because if you start getting into like July and August, then that gets really close to like that October date. Uh, Cause it's really like basically like late, late September, early October, you gotta think about it that way. So like an August marathon might be too late to recover from to really get ready for that Chicago marathon, which I really wanna have a good showing for that one this year. So I've been thinking about June, there's two marathons that come to mind right now. Tentatively, both of these are still, I think they have registrations available and uh, they're going to be in person as of now. One is going to be the Tunnel Marathon just outside of Seattle. I ran the Tunnel Marathon two years ago. The la I think the last time it was run in June, I think that's when I ran it. I could be wrong on that. They run it a couple of times per year out at that location. A really fun uh, downhill course, a beautiful setting. Uh, I love the energy from that uh, race. That's going to be June 13th, and that is 19 weeks from now. Uh, the other marathon that I'm looking at is Grandma's Marathon just outside of Duluth in Minnesota on Long Lake Superior. That's a marathon I've never run before, but one that I've been kind of keeping an eye on. A lot of people from Chicago really uh, love to run that race, uh, either in addition to Boston, because it comes like a little bit kind of close to Boston, but a couple months 
after Boston normally happens. Um, or if you can't get into Boston in a year, that kind of becomes your spring or early summer kind of marathon, that marathon for the first half of the year. That's gonna be the following weekend on June 19th. So 20 weeks out kind of from, I think starting like next week, if you wanna think of it that way, like if I were to start a training plan on Monday. So 20 weeks, 19 weeks, that gives me plenty of time to get in a tune-up brace, uh, which is something that I've been thinking about doing. I've been thinking about going for my tune-up bracing as being uh, a little bit shorter, maybe getting a couple of them in there. And here's a couple that I have in mind. The first being the Shamrock Shuffle, which is a race I ran a couple of years ago. Not something that I've regularly run, but it is an 8K road race here in Chicago. It kind of starts the Chicago like running season, uh, so to speak, because you've got like the Chicago Marathon in October and then the Bank of America Shamrock Shuffle at the beginning of the season, right around St. Patrick's Day, which is also a big holiday for Chicago. That event is gonna be virtual for this year and it's seven weeks away, which I think is probably like a good amount of time for someone who's been running regularly uh, to ramp up and get in some very specific 8K training. So that's something that's very interesting to me. Um, I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna be signing up for that one. I don't love virtual races, but I just wanna get something on the calendar, have something to kind of shoot for. I have been doing some very unstructured running, like a couple of workouts here and there, but just a lot of running. So I wanna get some focus. Uh, and so I think that'll be a good way to do that. The other race that I've been looking at so far, which I'm not sure, they're not sure yet if it's gonna be virtual or not, um, is the Chicago Spring Half Marathon. Now that's coming up in May. Uh, May 23rd, so that is 16 weeks from next week, so 16 weeks from now, um, and nine weeks after the, the Shamrock Shuffle. So I feel like going from an 8K training plan, you know, having a little bit of time to recover, and then hopping into a half marathon specific training block, I think would be really nice. Then that doesn't give a ton of time between the half marathon and then the June marathons though. So that gives me a little bit of concern. So that half marathon would really be like nine weeks of kind of like marathon specific training slash half marathon specific training. So that spring half doesn't exactly fit exactly where I want it to go. But you know, that might be kind of since it's going from a half to a marathon, that might work. So those are some of the things that I'm thinking about right now. The only thing that I have for certain so far is the Chicago Marathon on October 10th, uh, which I love, 10-10, 2021. I don't think it's been 10-10 for, uh, since 2010. That year it was 10-10-10. Um, but I think it's been a long time since it's been on October 10th. I could be wrong on that, but it's all, as far as I remember. So I'm looking forward to that. Who knows if any of these races will happen? Who knows what's going to happen in the, in the future? Everything is still a bit uncertain, in my opinion. Um, but... I'm pretty excited to be thinking about racing again, pretty excited to be thinking about race plans and writing that up. So I'll be starting to think about some of that stuff over the weekend, refreshing myself on some of like the philosophies and books uh, and kind of like the structures uh, that I've used in the past, but also that I, maybe I haven't used in the past. So it'll be kind of like interesting to go back and look at some of my tr past training builds and see, kind of see what worked and see what didn't work. So exciting. A little bit nervous about it, but exciting overall. Very happy to be thinking about these kinds of things again. Hopefully we'll actually be able to do them. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys are staying safe out there on your runs and I'll see you in the next one. Yo, what's going on?